All right. Hey guys, it's me, Little Squawker, and today I think I'm going to be starting to film in this space again because I do like it, and now that it, I am the appropriate height for it, I can finally film here. So I watched a video on BookTube today, and this YouTuber talked about how chain or how she buying books changed like her whole entire bookshelf and she unhauled so many books that I saw books that I wanted to get in that pile so it inspired me to like unhaul a few books and make room for some more books that I know that I'm gonna be buying and a whole bunch of other stuff so I went through some of my childhood books that I was planning to read and then I didn't get a chance to and I'm even giving away a whole entire series so yeah let's get started so I have an explanation for this book and that is the devil in the white city and by the time I was doing my history career project back in April I think I had to read the devil in the white city just because so I could get knowledge about the murder but I lost the book and when I find out when I found out after the history fair this book this copy was like all crumbled it, it was just in bad condition and then I found another copy at Goodwill which is a much nicer copy and so I will be keeping that copy and I will be getting rid of this copy so on home uh, the next book I have is the a second book in a series but I'm keeping the first book just in spite um, and that is Julia Jillian and the Quest for Joy. And I have the second book, Julia Jillian, The Art of Knowing. Because I, when I first found out that there is a girl in the name Jillian. Jillian is not a really common name, nor Gillian is a common name. And so I got it just because of that little thing. And I read the first book. Fifth grade herself loved it. And I never got a chance to read the second book. And... I know with my pace right now, I'm not going to read the second book, so... Unhaul! Bam! Um, another book I'm going to be unhauling is Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli, and my mother is a huge Jerry Spinelli fan. I never read any of his works at all, and she literally got this just because she likes Jerry Spinelli, and I never grew fond of Jerry Spinelli because I never re read any of his books. And it's been sitting on my shelf, and... Unho! Another book I have is Pictures of Hollis Woods by Patricia Riley Giff. And, again, this is a, literally a $2 book. And I never got a chance to read it. And there's a bookmark in there somehow. It was not by me. So, unho! Um, another book I have is Fame, Glory, and Other Things on My To-Do List by Jeanette Ralson. And, again, I even tried to read this, and for some reason I couldn't, like, you could, I roll in there the book level and how many points, just because I knew I was going to read it, and I never did read it. So, unhaul! Another one, this might be a bit controversial, but I don't know if a lot of people are reading this series, and that is Among the Hidden by Margaret Peters... Peterson Haddocks, and I, it's a very popular series within junior high, fifth, fourth grader series, and I did want to read this, but I never caught on to it, so unhaul! And the last book that's a singular series I did read, I do have a review of, of this book on my booktube, and that is Remembering Miss Rossi by Amy Hess. Has illustrated by Heather Minoy, and I think this is actually a true story because it does publish all of the little, th uh, the book of poems in the book, and I don't know if it's fake or if it's fiction, but uh, I mean it's a pretty short novel. I did read this in one sitting, so I'm just gonna give this an uh, no. And the last, I have to pick this up from my bookshelf. And the last thing, series, I will be unhauling is the Anne of, or Little House on a Prairie series, and even, like, the two bonus books, because it's been sitting on my shelf. I will show you the top book that was on my shelf. It has literally been collecting dust. Do you see that difference? Do you see all that dust just went by? It has literally been collecting dust dust on my bookshelf and I wanted to give 
the series a new home and I actually did receive this the whole entire series as a Christmas gift and I never got a chance of reading it. So I'm not going to literally drop all the books because it took like five ever just to assemble them in order. So unhaul. So yeah.